So today on Man Cave Tools, we are going to do a little versus video between the new DeWalt Atomic Impact Driver versus the new Ryobi HP Impact Driver. Now both of these are fairly new, All right, so let's just look at the specs and get to it. All right, so the new Ryobi HP with a three amp hour battery with 21700 cells, three pounds and 13.2 ounces. And the, the new DeWalt Compact Atomic with a four amp hour battery with 21700 cells weighs three pounds and 05.1 ounces. Now the Ryobi actually weighs a little bit more. All right, so on this channel, what we do is we test out what these tools can do with certain tasks. If you guys want more detailed specs of the motors on what they can do, Go to Torque Test Channel because he is now testing out impact drivers r regularly, which is awesome, by the way. And just so you guys know, when it comes to doing small screws like this for power tests, I really don't do them because this is a two-inch uh, drywall screw. All right, so just to, just to show you guys, this is a 12-volt screwdriver. It's too easy, so I do not test small screws on this channel. I am doing duration tests, so we uh, that's coming in the future on how many a 12-volt uh, tool can do these. To the Ryobi first, we're going to use this log for the timber locks and specs, and we're going to switch to another log for the lags. Then we're going to switch over to a tube uh, 4x4 for the spade bit and the speed bore. We are using Hilti nut setter bits. It is a quick insert collet. Like I said, it's on speed 3. It has 1, 2, 3, and auto. We are going to do a six inch spax first. Time. Okay, next let's do the DeWalt. This is my favorite impact driver, by the way. This is my, like, this has, this replaced my Makita. I love how compact this is and I love how it is in the hand and the power that it has for the size it is. You know, this is a tool that I'm proud to even just hold. It, it is a sharp looking tool. All right, it's on speed three. Battery is full. Four amp hour battery, 21700 cells. And yes, there is a one amp hour difference for, but for the test that we're doing, a one amp hour difference between two batteries that have 21700 cells in it isn't that big of a deal. Now, if this was a six amp hour versus three amp hour, that's a big deal, but one amp hour isn't really that much of a difference when it comes to the same cells. Time, which I'm surprised about that. That seemed that it took a little bit longer. All right, so let's take the Ryobis out. Time. Yeah, straight out of the bat, I can I can tell that the Ryobi is actually more a little bit more powerful than this DeWalt. All right, so let's do an eight-inch Timberlock. Time. All right, so let's do the DeWalt. Time. I do not know the test results until I edit the video. Let's take the Ryobis out. Take out the Atomic. I gotta do a light video uh, on which LED light is actually the best. I wanna film that at night. When it's pitch black in here and I only have those lights to, to use as a workspace light. So that video is coming up. All right, on this log, we are able to uh, test up to six inches. We're gonna do one four inch each and one six inch each. Then we're gonna move over to the four by four. Battery is still full.
time. DeWalt is next. I think that's time. Alright, the Ryobi does have some issues sometimes because it does get stuck into the closed position where you got to open up the, co the collet back up. There we go. Time. Take the waltz out. Time. All right, so next let's do the six inch uh, lag. We'll do it in the dryer area because I want this to be a tough task. I want these motors to struggle without breaking the adapter. All right, that's as far as it goes. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna give the Ryobi one shot. I'll do the same thing with the, the DeWalt, see if it can recover itself. Some I randomly do this sometimes because I this is my first time using this wood. I don't know how dense this is, but obviously it's, it's actually pretty dense. So the more powerful tools might be able to do it on their own one shot, but I'll give the Ryobi and the DeWalt one shot to do this. And if the DeWalt does this in one shot without it stopping, then the Ryobi failed this test. Yep, that's as far, that's as, far as it goes. All right, let's do the DeWalt right here. Is where the DeWalt stops. Yep, so the, uh, like I said, I'm gonna give that uh, the DeWalt one shot to uh, one trigger pull to see if we can drive it in more. All right, let's continue. Nope, I'm just curious. Let's see if the DeWalt could finish the Ryobis. Nope. All right, so both of them stopped with that. So both of them failed driving that in, but the Ryobi did drive it in, a, uh, I'd say, a half inch more. We are not done there. We are going to use a Milwaukee with a 3 amp hour high output battery to see if this could finish, those, uh, finish driving those in. All right, let's first let's see if we can finish the Ryobis. Yes, it can, and it drove it in a little, little too far. There we go. Let's finish the DeWalt's. Oh, a little bit more, sorry. But as you can see, that is why we do these tests because some tools can finish it, some tools can't. It might like, yeah, this is new, this is a new wood to the channel, but yet this was able to do it. That's why we do these tests. Let's see if Ryobi could at least take it out. Battery is at three bars. Yes, it can. Time. At least it was able to take it out. Average of 84 degrees on the Ryobi. All right, so let's take out the DeWalt's. The battery is at two bars, so it's pretty much the same as the Ryobi when it comes to battery life. All right, so the DeWalt, no luck for the DeWalt. Give it one more pull. Nope, no luck for the DeWalt. All right, the DeWalt did fail to take that out. Let's give the Ryobi a shot to take it out first before we bring the Milwaukee back. Ooh, that broke. I knew it. Like I said, I break these adapters all the time. All the time. All right, so let's uh, see if Ryobi can take this out. Nope, Ryobi failed to take this one out. Yep. All right, this one requires... Uh, this one requires the Milwaukee to take it out. Easily. All 
All right, so like I said, the DeWalt and Ryobi failed to take that out, so they both failed that test. All right, so for this test, we are going to do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. Then for the grand finale, we're going to do a one and a half inch spade bit. And I have these sizes because they fit in the quarter inch hex collet. Any, uh, anything bigger uh, won't fit in there. You have to use a drill for it. Time. All right, next let's do the DeWalt. Time. All right, so next, let's do the one and a half inch spade bit. This is a tough task, you guys. These are tough tasks. Time. Did it. I thought it was going to sell out for a second, but it did it. Final temperature for the Ryobi is 98, 99, 95, 99 degrees for the Ryobi. All right, then let's do the DeWalt. I think the DeWalt did a little bit better on that task. Like I said, these videos are to show you on how well these tools perform with certain tasks. Because this tool might do fantastic with a spade bit, but it might do bad with a lag. Another tool might do good with a lag, but bad at the spade bit. That's, that's how it is. Like certain tools act a different way with certain tasks. It's, it's actually weird like that. All right, and so for, for the final temperature of the DeWalt is, it's 82. 68, 82 degrees, 82, to the, 82 degrees the DeWalt got. This video has been a versus video just to see on how well these tools do against each other. And as you can see, both tools are actually pretty powerful. Are there more powerful tools than these out there? Yes, but you don't always need the most powerful tool out there. Sometimes it's about the weight, sometimes it's about the agronomics of it, sometimes it's just about the design, if you, this can fit in certain spots. You know, sometimes it's the price, and this, uh, like you guys saw the prices already when it comes to uh, tool only. So yeah, so this video is just to show you the difference between these two, if you're at uh, Home Depot right now or at home and you wanna get into a tool line, this shows you that. So more videos coming up, you guys. That's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.